Okay, so in this video, I'm going to troubleshoot the um, charging system in this 1989 Mercury outboard. This is a uh, two-stroke, and it's it's a uh, line of outboards they made for a long time. But over the years, there were many um, different types of charging systems and ignition systems as the... Uh, electronic components evolved and in fact in the manual there's there are five different types of uh, ignition system identified for this series of motors and this motor is in 1989 it's kind of the last of the um, the evolution of that series of motors uh, this serial number they go by serial numbers this is the zero c 1000 series and 89 was actually the last year so um there's quite a confusion on what exactly components are in this system and exactly what type of system to look at in the manual to troubleshoot this so what it's doing is uh the voltage at the battery is fluctuating a lot um, it goes from around 12 and maybe dips down below 12 and goes clear up to 18 it just constantly fluctuates so it is charging but <clears throat> clearly the regulator is not working um, and on engines in like this era and in the 90s and 2000s you had a combined regulator rectifier um, I'm not sure if that's the case here, but um, that's what was confusing me because the manual doesn't really recognize that type of system. So what we have here is, um, I've started to take some of the wiring apart, but <clears throat> this item right here I thought was the rectifier because the earlier version of that system has a rectifier that looks like this and then a separate regulator and the yellow wires um, here's one here and then the other one is back here uh, they're always yellow where they come out of the um, stator and the stator is what produces your current and that is actually AC current so the rectifier has to turn that into DC current but then from the rectifier you have to go to the regulator where it obviously regulates that to it should be a little bit over 12 volts like 13 and a half volts uh, to maintain the charge in the battery so from this item here is it just connects these yellow leads to a, a wiring harness right here that runs up behind the oil tank and that goes up to what I'm referring to as the regulator and here are the two two yellow leads. Now the red <clears throat> is run back down through that harness, and that just goes eventually to your battery. It's usually attached at the starting solenoid, um, but that is the hot side that goes to the um, battery, and that will charge. I'm sorry, it's over here where the um, you can see right here. This is the lead to the battery. <clears throat> and that red wire is one of these wires right here. So it's just a, a direct connection back to the battery. And that's that's how your battery gets charged. So one other thing I'd like to mention. Uh, there is another wire. It's this gray wire right here. That's just connected to this block. And <clears throat> whenever you see a gray wire associated with the rectifier that goes to the tachometer um, and when the every time the stator goes around the tachometer can read that as a revolution so <clears throat> this wire would just run down here to the main uh, pigtail that goes to the up to the dash panel all right so as I mentioned the manual is a little confusing and it's not helping out uh, exactly because 
uh, as usual, they cover a whole bunch of different models. Um, and you can see from 1965 to 89, um, <clears throat> even though a lot of this stuff is similar, there were a lot of changes in that time. And then my engine is right at the, the end of this series. But anyway, the ignition system has five types through the years and the smaller engines had much simpler ignition. They started out with just magneto, no charging system, no no points, etc. And then they uh <clears throat> they ended up with a getting rid of the points and going to capacitor discharge. That's kind of what we're all familiar with. And then the in the type five they have um it's a CDI one coil per cylinder, that's what I have. But this doesn't really cover the charging system. Uh, for that, you go down here, and there's only one section and only one type listed. But what I found is that isn't, that isn't true. So we'll go to this charging system. And the only thing they show is in the way of a diagram, <clears throat> um, they talk a lot about the, you know, some general information in the starter system, but in the charging circuit, <clears throat> uh, they all have uh, the stator, which acts like an alternator. That's what um, generates electricity. <clears throat> but this is the only diagram that they give and in this system, this is the simplest system, and it shows a rectifier, but no regulator. And the words talk about the fact that um, <clears throat> there is no regulator. Um, and I suppose that's okay to charge a battery. Uh, the battery, you know, can stand some fluctuation, but when you have a more uh, involved uh, parts of the electrical system of the boat, uh, your voltage at your battery has got to be maintained very steady and it can't go up to 18 or more because you're going to start frying components. So uh, <clears throat> this is that regulator, I'm sorry, rectifier. <clears throat> That's what I thought we had in the system. Um, it looks similar to this but it's not and it turns out that this is just a terminal block not a rectifier okay so being that this part is not the rectifier uh, that tells me um, that the rectifier must be built into the regulator um, and that is what I would have expected anyway for an engine of this era uh, that's about when the went to this um, unitized regulator rectifier. Um, now, <clears throat> to add to the confusion though, when I go to the OEM parts breakdown, here is the old rectifier, uh, item 38 there, and that is available, and it's almost $70 for that. Um, But it looks like, here, here's our black piece here. Th this turns out to be a terminal block. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. But So this is listed as a voltage regulator. And, and up here, you see something that looks again like a rectifier regulator unit. And that's identified as a rectifier. So... And there's also two different wiring harnesses here. So all of this was really adding to the confusion, but it seems to me uh, what you have here is three different levels of system that could be on this series of motor. And there are a lot of notes and, and descriptive items in the um, parts list, and you'd probably have to wade through all that and try to figure out, you know, which one you have based on your serial number, et cetera. But 
Um, <clears throat> you know, I think I have it figured out here, but this would be more like the smaller horsepower unit or the older unit that has no regulator in the system. So we're going to ignore that, and I don't need that piece. And I know that because this item has the yellow wires going from the stator directly into it, and it has the red wire coming out to charge the battery. Now, this terminal block, all this functions as is a connection point to tie this wiring harness, which has the two yellows, the red and the black ground. It just ties those together, and it gives you a place for the, the gray tachometer wire. Now, this unit does not have a gray tachometer wire. Uh, if you did have the unit that had that, which is this unit, your gray wire, which is one of these five wires, would just connect here and then lead to the gray wire back to the pigtail to the instrument panel. So, at this point, I would like to have the tachometer function, which uh, I have on the dash panel, but is not supported by this, this regulator rectifier. And, and this unit, I think, is obsolete, although they do offer it. Uh, they offer a replacement kit, let's say. And that replacement kit is $360. And I'm going to show you something interesting about that in a minute. Or <clears throat> I could just go and look at one of these units, which you can get. They're, they're everywhere on Amazon or eBay. And they're just general purpose rectifier regulator units. They're all wired the same. And you can get one of these for like, 20 to 40 bucks and this is a five wire unit you can get a six wire unit but this is only requires five wires and that has your two yellow wires that go to the stator the one red to the battery the black ground and the gray to the tachometer so what we're looking at here is basically three levels of system rectifier only the old style regulator with the terminal block in between, and then the the latest integrated regulator rectifier with five wires, or could be six wire, and that's what I have right here. And this was, like I said, 39 bucks off of Amazon. And I'll tell you what these wires are used for in a minute, but you can see that the two yellow are your stator, here's the gray tachometer wire, the black ground, and, and these two red, the one that's the male connector goes to the battery for charging. And this one wouldn't be used in a lot of cases, but it's a sensing wire. Um, and I think I'm going to actually return this and get a five wire unit. And it, it will just have one red wire. And incidentally, uh, they would want to sell you this five wire harness here that goes with this unit. This four-wire harness goes with, with this unit, with no tachometer wire. So all these parts are not used in any one setup. Um, and that's what was really confusing me. So for 39 bucks, I think we're going to fix this, versus 360 for the factory kit. All right, so one last thing I wanted to show you. If, if you did order part... 40, which is your regulator rectifier combination per the uh, OEM parts list. Here's what you would get. This is the regulator kit voltage right here. Reg kit voltage. This is the part number 815279A2. It's 350 some dollars and if you look closely <clears throat> all you're getting is the six wire integrated rectifier regulator 
the wiring harness. Here's that terminal block that we already have. And you get a mounting plate. And this just converts the whole pattern from the old one to the, the new one. So we're just buying this part right here for 39 bucks. Um, and this part is listed, is compatible with this part number and a whole bunch of other uh, regulator rectifiers. And it's used in, it's just common uh, commercial um, engines for, um, you know, marine, <clears throat> RVs, equipment, things like that. So <clears throat> I think this will work just fine. Okay, so what we're going to do here is remove the old rectifier regulator um, that was the four wire. Did not have the wire for the tachometer. <clears throat> and so now I have this five wire uh, generic replacement. And that was, I don't know, $20, $30 off of eBay. I've made an uh, adapter plate. And that will go in place of the old one. We'll connect it up. And this is kind of what you would end up getting if you spent $350 on the OEM replacement kit. So that's about all there is to that. Okay, so now around uh, 14 volts so we're charging now